all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new um i just got back from walmart uh for our weekly groceries and i figured i would show y'all what all we got um for the coming week so uh without further ado let's just get into the okay groceries. so i hope the quality of this is going to be good i did not want to have to drag out uh, batteries and sd cards to pull my camera out so i'm just doing this on my iphone so i hope it's good let me know in the comments if you think it's decent quality um right now it seems like it's okay so let's get into it okay so i'm working with very minimal space so everything is stacked on top of each other so i'm going to start with the produce over here so that way i can clear it off of all of this other stuff to show you what that is um so first i have a red onion simple um i got two bags of organic avocados i'm gonna make some guacamole one day this week because we're having shrimp tacos and I've been like really hungry for guacamole and I got another bag that is pretty ripe that is ready for avocado toast. That is like one of my favorite things ever. Okay, then I have two tomatoes, please don't fall. Um, for the guacamole, I have a long English cucumber. I love these cucumbers now, they're the best. Um, Moving on, I have jalapenos. I'm also making homemade salsa with guacamole to go with our shrimp tacos. So the jalapenos are for the guacamole and the salsa. Same for the cilantro, although now I kind of forgot when I was at the store. I should have got two of these. I'll make it work because I'm not going back to the store. Um, I got two things of mushrooms. One pack is whole white mushrooms. I'm going to uh, chop up because I am testing out uh, gluten-free eating for me for health reasons. Um, and Thanksgiving is coming. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is um, green bean casserole. And there apparently is gluten. And I'm pretty sure it's the cream of mushroom soup that the gluten is in. So I'm going to try and test out a gluten-free um, green bean casserole next week to see if it tastes any good. Like, i got to try it out before I go and bring it for me to eat for Thanksgiving. Um, so I got these for that. And then I just got some sliced Baby Bella mushrooms because I just love sautéed mushrooms, period. They're just really good to me. Um, and then I got... whoop. I got a bag of Brussels sprouts because we just love those. And I've been craving salads lately, so I picked up this bag of romaine hearts, although I did not see that nasty spot whenever I picked it up. Um, but I'll just cut around it. It's no big deal. I love salads, and I've been hungry for some. And then I have this tricolor coleslaw mix. Uh, we put this on our shrimp tacos. It's very good with some type of sauce. So yummy. So good. Um, and then other produce. Limes. I got a bag of limes for salsa and the guacamole. And just because I randomly need uh, limes every now and then. So it's good to always have some limes on hand. So let me clear out all of the produce and then I will show you the rest of the stuff. That stuff is put up. Moving on to my other cold items so that way I can get them put, so I can get those put up also. Um, I have a big pack of this thick cut. I'm pretty sure it's thick cut. It looks pretty thick. Um, hickory smoked bacon just for breakfast and other things we need it for. Then I just have some of the regular cut, it's a little bit thinner, um, hickory smoked bacon for some bacon wrapped chicken tenderloins that I like to make for myself uh, for lunch. So I pick both of those up um, and then see, let's what else, <laughs> let's what else, see what else is cold. I got two pack of cream cheese. Um, what was this for? Oh, one of them is for the green bean casserole that I'm going to try to make. Um, and then I usually always just keep cream cheese on hand because I use it in lots of different recipes. Um, let's see, what else is cold? 
the girls wanted some Minute Maid juice, so they picked the watermelon flavor and peach punch flavor. And then I picked my son up a little small jug of Sunny D because he likes that stuff. And then I was low on one of my favorite coffee creamers, the Coffee Mate Funfetti. This tastes so good in my caramel coffee. Like, it is the best. So, pretty sure that's all the other cold stuff. So, let me get that stuff put up and then we'll be in something cold. I had to get some more butter. I like to get the Challenge Salted Butter the four pack and also the challenge unsalted butter. Some recipes I need unsalted and some I need regular salted. So I was low on butter so I picked that up also. Okay. Now next I got some vegetable oil. I was just low and so I need to pick some up and then I picked up four cans of green beans for my green bean casserole. I'm not sure if I need all four of them but I wanted to make sure I had plenty. Um, and if I don't need all four of them, we will, we will still eat them anyways. Um, so I also got two cans of diced tomatoes for my salsa. And back here, the kids requested a box of goldfish for next week. So I picked that up for them. Um, and then this chicken broth is for the green bean casserole also. And then for Thanksgiving, I am going to make some pumpkin muffins that are gluten-free and sugar-free. And I mean, if you use pumpkin, then you know, like if you don't get it pretty soon, it's going to be gone by the time you need it. So I went ahead and just picked up two cans of pumpkin so that way I have it and I'm not worrying and trying to find it at the last minute. Um, and then we was out of um, hamburger dill chip pickle pickles. <laughs> Uh, kids love just putting them on sandwiches. We love pickles around here. Like you'll see, we got two other cans, jars of pickles. Um, so just regular hamburger deal pickles for whatever we need it. <laughs> um, and then I found these is pork brand. It's called artisanal fried pork rinds. This is the smoky black pepper and sea salt flavor. They are gluten-free, no carbs. I tasted them already. That's why it's already open. And they are delicious. But I got these to go on top of the green bean casserole. Because you know, on green bean casseroles, they have those little crunchy onions. Well, that has gluten in it. That has carbs. So in the recipe that I found, they used crushed up pork rinds. So it's a little interesting. Definitely a little twist on the traditional um green bean casserole. So I'm very interested to try that out. I really hope it turns out really good. Oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, now I needed to get some more barbecue sauce. We are doing hot wings one night next week and I found a copycat recipe for the Hooters Daytona wing sauce and it is amazing. It tastes just like it. So I needed some more sweet baby rays barbecue sauce to make some of that and i got the kids some regular ketchup i let's see i think it was last week picked me up the sir kensington um ketchup it's expensive but it's like natural like gluten-free the really good good stuff but it's expensive and we love ketchup in this house. So I just was like kind of cringing at the thought that my kids was going to squirt a pile of ketchup and it get wasted whenever that small bottle was super expensive. So I just got them a bottle of regular ketchup and mama's going to have her own ketchup. Um, and then I picked these Quaker chocolate rice cakes up for me. Um, I love these things and all the flavors. They're so good. I like to put the, um, my Bomar butters on these. It's a perfect snack. Sometimes it's a little bit of a breakfast, like if I don't have an actual real breakfast and I just need like a little morning snack, I will do these and they're super good. Okay. And here is our pickle situation. So the kids needed 
some spears. So we got kosher dill spears. And then this is mama's jar because no one else in this house likes them. And I'm perfectly okay with that. They are the Vlasic Zesty Bread and Butter Pickles. These things are amazing. Okay, if you like the sweet bread and butter pickles, but you also like spicy pickles, you need to try these because it is the perfect blend of sweet and spicy, crunchy, salty. It just, they're amazing, okay? Try them out if you like bread and butter. Like my husband hates them. So I don't have to worry about no one else eating these and I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, we had to restock on our pickle stash. Um, and then I picked up a couple of teas to try. I love drinking tea. I have a pretty big tea box that has all kinds of different flavors. Um, but I recently tried an iced chai tea and it was amazing. Like I've never have tried chai tea ever. So I seen this Bigelow vanilla chai black tea and it just sounds amazing. Um, if anybody has tried this, let me know. How did you like sweeten it? Did you not sweeten it? Did you put milk? What did you do? Like, I don't know. It just sounds amazing. So I got that to try. And then I've been wanting to try chamomile tea. And then they have this honey vanilla chamomile. But boxes of tea are so expensive. Especially if you don't know if you are going to like them or not. And they don't, like, I wish they just sold, like, you know, one tea bag at a time. So, that way you could try it out for yourself before you go and spend that much money on a box of tea. So, I found this herbal tea sampler by Celestial Seasonings. And it has those two flavors that I wanted to try out. I already love peppermint tea. It's amazing. Um, I do like lemon tea, but I'm not sure what this lemon zinger tastes like. And then there's a sleepy time tea. So, I'm kind of curious to try that out. I have a hard time falling asleep at night. Um, I'm like a really bad night owl. I'll, I can stay up super late. So I'm going to try that out. And then they have the chamomile and the honey vanilla chamomile. So I've never tried this. Not quite sure how to mix it up, what to mix it with. So if you've tried any of these, let me know in the comments how you like your teas. Like what do you mix in it? What do you sweeten it with or whatever, you know, just okay. let me know. Um, and to go along with my salads, I picked up the Sir Kensington's Raspberry Pink Peppercorn Dressing. I don't know. It, it says it's a marinade also, but it just sounds good. A tart, tangy dressing made with raspberries, pink peppercorns, fair trade, organic honey, poppy seeds, and a squeeze of lemon. I don't know. It just sounds so good on a salad, maybe with some feta cheese. Oh, I don't even know. Some diced ham or maybe like some chicken on it. Mm, 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 mm. That sounds amazing. I've never tried any of the other Sir, Sir Kensington's products. I looked for them in Walmart here, but there was literally nothing except for that dressing and the ketchup. So I picked that up to try out. Hopefully it is good for the price of this brand. Um, but I also... Picked up some more of this Great Value Chicken Dipping Sauce. If you like Chick-fil-A, which most girls do, <laughs> um, and you like Chick-fil-A sauce, this tastes just like Chick-fil-A sauce. Not kidding whatsoever. It tastes just like it. I had seen it before. I think on Facebook, someone was talking about it. So I picked it up a long time ago and tried. I was like, oh my God. It really does taste just like it. So, um, me and one of my daughters likes this um, to dip pretty much anything in. So, I picked up some more of those. Um, and then, my girls wanted some squirt. We call them squirts. They picked out the grape Kool-Aid and the cherry Kool-Aid. And then, the fruit punch Mio. And this sucker is huge. It's like way bigger then, like, here's the regular size Mio, and there's that one. It's huge, but it lasts a really long time for them. So, they wanted those, and then I've been having a hard time getting my water in for some reason lately. Like, plain water has not been quenching my thirst, and I am holding on to a couple of extra pounds that I'm not happy about, but 
I know for sure it's because I'm not getting in all the water I need to be drinking. So I picked these two Mio Energies up. Um, I don't like mixing in the Crystal Light packets. I know I recommend it on a lot of my videos, but me personally, I just can't drink it. It's not that, I mean, they're too sweet for me and my taste buds. And I have tried diluting it down. It's just, it's weird tasting to me. So I picked these up so that way I can squirt in as little or as much as I want for the flavor that I'm looking for. So hopefully this will help me get my water in. Um, so I got the Tropical Fusion flavor and the Strawberry Pineapple Smash. I don't know, out of all the ones that, the, that was there to pick from, these two sounded the best to me. So I got those. Then to go along with our fish tacos, not fish tacos, shrimp tacos. I got some Zatarain's cilantro lime rice. This is so good. And I was super excited to see, where is it at? It does say on here, right there, it's gluten-free. I was excited. I'll be able to put a little bit on my taco. And I'm excited about that. Um, and then I always keep this Nor Rice Sides, the cheddar broccoli, on hand. My kids love this stuff, and it's a super easy, simple side for the kids. Okay, moving on. I needed some more red pepper flakes. Simple as that. Um, and then, not food related, but my husband was out of his beard wash. This is the kind he likes to use. His beard is his pride and joy, so he has to keep it nice and groomed. Um, so, yeah, this is th that beard wash for him. Okay, and then living in an RV park, we got to pick up the poo from the doggy. So, she was low on waste bags, as they call them. Poo-poo bags. Then I needed a new... Okay, so I was going to get a whole new mop with a removable mop head so that way I could wash it whenever it gets, you know, dingy. And so I'm looking for a new mop at Walmart. And all the ones that was there was not removable heads. It was like the old-fashioned mops. And then I see this little refill. And I'm like, what? That's the mop I have. I did not know the heads, like, was removable. And they're machine washable. So, I was like, WTF. Like, I could have already done washed it a long time ago. So, I went ahead and just picked up a refill. So, that way I'd have a nice, clean, fresh one on there. And then I can toss the dirty one in the washer. And then I'll have a backup. So, whenever I need... To wash this, I'll already have another one to put back on my mop. But I was like, I needed a new mop because mine doesn't have a removable head. But it does. <laughs> Anyways, so I got that. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters and my husband was pretty low on their kettle corn popcorn. So I picked another box of these up. I can't stand kettle corn. So they can keep that. Oh, and then they requested hot and spicy Cheez-Its this week, along with white cheddar Cheez-Its to go along with their lunches. Um, so, I picked that up for them. And then I needed a little bit more flour, and this is the type of flour I'm buying now. It is on the more expensive side than regular white flour, but if I do have an intolerance to gluten, then it is what it is. And I still want to eat food too. <laughs> so, this is the type of flour that I'm buying now. It's the Bob's Red Meal Gluten-Free One-to-One Baking Flour. It completely, I mean, it's just, like it says, one-to-one. -one. It completely, um, what am I trying to say? It replaces your regular flour. Like, you don't have to add anything extra to recipe. So, if a recipe calls for one cup of white flour you can use one cup of this baking flour and you don't taste there's no taste difference at all so that is the type of flour i use now then i've been seeing 
lots of stuff about this brand. The Lily's chocolate chips <laughs> for baking. Um, I'm fixing to make up a big batch of some chocolate chip cookie dough. But I want to make sure and make them gluten-free and sugar-free. So I'll be using my xylitol that I like to use um, to sweeten the cookie dough with. And then I picked up these to try for the chocolate chips because they're sweetened with stevia. So there's no sugar in these bad boys. And yes, I did already open it to taste it. And they're delicious. They taste no different than regular um regular chocolate chips and they are gluten-free so happy about that and then I seen this chocolate mint flavor and I had to pick that up because I love like the Andes mints that you get at Olive Garden when you check out and like they're just really really good um but I like to make the Bomar protein mug cakes every now and then in the evening for like a little dessert and I just thought adding in a few of these chocolate mint uh, baking chips in the batter would taste so good. Just give it a little hint of some mint and oh, it just sounds delicious. And yes, I did open it already and try it and it is delicious. Um, and then my daughter spotted the Oreo section and seeing that there was red colored icing in the Oreos. I I just seen that there's five cool winter designs on here. So that's cool. I don't know what they look like. And I dropped something. Oh, here they are. Oh, look how cute. So it says snow day. There's frosty, a snowflake, mittens, and a little penguin. That's so sweet. So anyways, yeah, she wanted some Oreos because it's red and we are ready to decorate for Christmas, but we have to wait till we get back to Texas because my Christmas stuff is there. And it really makes me sad because it, my Christmas tree would already be up right now, but we're not in Texas. So that has to wait. Um, but then I'm out of razors. This is the type of razor I use. They have the refillable razor blades that has the soap around them. I love this kind of razor. So I had to pick those up and then I needed laundry detergent, but they was out. Um, and so I had to get, also I needed some fabric softener and this is the fabric softener I like to use. The Downy Infusions Bliss in the Sparkling Amber and Rose Scent. This smells amazing. So good. Um, Yeah, so that is everything. That is our weekly grocery haul for next week. Just a little restock on some things, um, ingredients for some recipes that I am doing. And yeah, that's just, that's our weekly grocery haul. It looks different every week because I don't like cooking the same stuff all the time. So yeah, that's what I got for the week. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this little grocery haul. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you are new to my channel and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys now that i'm looking back